Welcome to the forge, my wanton wildlings. I'm your creepsmith, and I hope you like my work. Among the pastas all over the internet, there are rituals that supposedly give us access to unusual circumstances. Other worlds, entities beyond human ken, answers to any question or power that we lack. One of these is the elevator ritual. It reportedly uses a multi-story building as a portal to another realm, and elevators as the means to unlock it. Unfortunately, this work of fiction has also been linked via speculation and viral footage to the tragic and mysterious death of Vancouver College student Elisa Lam at LA's Cecil Hotel in 2013. While there is no evidence that this ritual actually had anything to do with her death, rumor and, quote, analysis, end quote, of the footage led to comparisons between fiction and reality. I would nevertheless be remiss if I did not recommend against actually attempting this ritual. That said, please enjoy the elevator ritual from Spooky Nightmares Creepypasta Rituals. This game appears to originate on a Korean website some may recognize as the source of a particular comic that pops up every few months or so on sites like Reddit. Unfortunately, I don't speak Korean, so working off of the rough translation found here, I've tried to tease out a clearer version of the rules and instructions. It's unclear whether the other world to which the elevator delivers you is the shadow side referred to by Fable Forge in his various games and rituals, or whether it's something else. Regardless as to what it may or may not be, however, as always, play at your own risk. Needed for the ritual, one principal player, and one building, at least ten stories high, with an elevator. All three of these conditions must be met in order for the game to proceed. When venturing out, enter your chosen building and get into the elevator on the first floor alone. Do not proceed if anyone else is in the elevator with you. Press the button to the fourth floor. Then, in succession, the second floor, the sixth floor, the second floor, the tenth floor, and then the fifth floor. When arriving at the fifth floor, press the button for the first floor. If the elevator begins ascending to the tenth instead of descending to the first, you may proceed. If the elevator descends to the first floor, exit as soon as the doors open. Do not look back, and do not speak. If you reach the tenth floor, you may either choose to get off the elevator or stay on it. If you choose to get off, there is a woman that may have entered the elevator on the fifth floor. She will ask you, where are you going? Do not answer her, and do not look at her. You will know whether you've arrived at the other world by one indication and one indication only. The only person present in it is you. The return trip. If you choose to stay on the elevator at the 10th floor, press the button for the first floor. If it doesn't work, keep pressing it until it finally does. When the elevator reaches the first floor, exit as soon as the doors open. Do not look back, do not speak. If you choose to exit the elevator at the 10th floor, you must use the same elevator to return as the one in which you arrived. When you enter the elevator, press the buttons in the same order you did in steps 2 through 8 of venturing out. You should finish again at the 5th floor. When you reach the 5th floor, press the button for the 1st floor. The elevator will again begin to ascend up to the 10th floor. Press any other floor's button to cancel this ascension. You must press the button you use to cancel the ascension before you reach the 10th floor, however. After you've reached the first floor, check your surroundings carefully. If anything seems off, even the smallest detail, do not exit the elevator. If you detect something wrong, repeat step 2 until your surroundings look as they should. Once you're confident that you have returned to your own world, you may safely exit the elevator. Additional notes. 
Should you reach the other world, the floor onto which you will emerge will look almost identical to the one from your own world, save for two things. All the lights will be off, and the only thing that you'll be able to see from the windows is a red cross in the distance. Some say that electronic devices, mobile phones, cameras, MP3 players, etc. don't work in the other world. Others say they do. Getting back to your own world may be more difficult than it seems. You can become disoriented and forget which elevator you arrived in. The elevator may seem to be getting further and further from you as you walk towards it. That sort of thing. Be vigilant and keep your wits about you. If at any point during the ritual you faint, pass out, or otherwise lose consciousness, you will likely wake up in your own home. However, be sure to carefully examine your surroundings upon waking. The home to which you have been returned may not be the one you left when you first set out to attempt this ritual. Concerning the woman on the fifth floor, do not speak to her and do not look at her. So as ever, if you choose to explore the unknown and shadowed corners of the world, you may be able to get there, but living with what you find is always the price. Stay scary, wildlings, and make the most of your nights.